This here is from Metro from April 16th, 2024. It's a subject I don't like to talk about so much. I honestly had trouble making an opinion on it until I saw this. Johnny Depp flashes yellowing smile at fans at first UK premiere since Amber Heard trial. So the whole thing is that some people have been saying, especially Amber fans, is that Johnny's got yellow teeth. And apparently he might. I honestly don't know. I got to keep it real. I don't think every single photo out there could be photoshopped. So probably there is some discoloration or something. Now, the most important thing to remember is Johnny's got a lot of freaking money. So whatever's going on, it's by choice. The dentist costs who knows how much. Everyone goes to the dentist. That's not the issue. Whatever's going on, it's up to Johnny. Secondly, for someone like me, it just doesn't matter at all. I'm not looking at Johnny as someone attractive or hot or whatever. I'm a guy, so for me, it's about his acting. It's about entertainment. I like seeing him kill it in his career. That kind of thing. I mean, to be quite frank, Johnny could be really ugly and I would think the same exact thing of him. Oh, awesome actor. Love these movies. I like his John Lennon covers. It wouldn't change a darn thing for me. So that's off the table for a lot of us. Let's see what they have to say. The Sweeney Todd star was completely swarmed by fans as soon as he stepped onto the red carpet and happily signed autographs for those who had gathered to meet him. Although that was all smiles, many were surprised to see his yellowing teeth, which were unlike the bright Hollywood smile many of us have become accustomed to seeing on screen. Much like when his film premiered at Khan, Giant Depp's rotten teeth stole the limelight and fans flooded social media to express concern about the star's dental hygiene. Which brings me back to, if that's true, which is looking like it might be, I don't see the relevance. I mean, I guess there's this, ooh, look at that kind of thing, but it wouldn't make a difference to me if his teeth were rainbow, polka dot pink, purple, whatever. Whatever it is, that's what Johnny's choosing to do. Depp dressed in a gray suit for this event and had his long locks trimmed back for an upcoming new Dior campaign for which he is the face of their popular fragrance, Sauvage. Great. Looking forward to that. Those always have some cool artwork and thumbnails come out of that and everything. I'll be there for it. And they feature this. Kind of a nice little pic. And they say it's the first time he had a role in French. I don't speak French, so I'm sure it was pretty good. I didn't hear too many complaints about it, although I didn't read too many reviews and things like that. For most people, it should be fine. I guess if you speak French, you're going to notice. But the vast majority probably won't be bothered by any little inconsistencies. He said that his ex-wife was French and his children also speak French, which encouraged him to develop his skills and take the role. Yeah, so it must be pretty darn good, but I've been speaking Japanese for 20 years, and to be honest, it's quick, it's the same pace as native speakers and everything, but you could tell. Language is something that takes a lot of skill, and I'm not sure it's possible to get it completely perfect for most people. You gotta be living, working, speaking with a family all day, all night. You can't just like live in a country for like 20 years, 30 years, and be like a native speaker. You could sound damn good. You could be as fast. Hell, you might even know more words than the native speaker, but your accent's still going to be in there a little bit, I think, for the vast majority of people. All right. I digress on that. That's a whole different topic. For me, I felt like because my girl, the mother of my kitties, is French, so my children are half French, he said. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, that makes it much better. And they throw this in here, which is unrelated and from a different timeline. Depp said, I keep wondering about the word comeback because I didn't go anywhere. I haven't really thought too hard about that. Take it or leave it. Comeback, not a comeback. Fine. Johnny's doing stuff again. I know what people mean if they phrase it like that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Once again, the bottom line for me is whatever is with Johnny's teeth, it's by choice. Johnny's got access to world-class dentist best ever. Who knows? I'll keep an eye out for more info, but it's low priority and not very meaningful. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.